Hello, my name is Swiss Bianco. In this video I will talk about the Mayerco 18 X-Ray switchblade. It comes in this box. Unfortunately the box did already fall apart. So the Chinese who did make the box did not use a correct glue there. Uh, we see on front we have this picture and information there. It's a Darl Ralph design uh, made by Meyerco and this is made in USA. We see the limited warranty and uh, yeah. Inside the knife is in that plastic bag and then we have here a bit of paperwork. Just a, a flyer that comes with it, uh, the a fixed blade classic design that is made over a couple of years by now. And on the back side, we see the different variants of the switch blade of the 18 X ray that slide out the safety. Uh, they made it in different variation. The Top one is the one that we're gonna have a look at it, and then we have a Tanto blade and a rescue variation with a red handle. And that is the knife itself. We have a 154 cm stainless steel blade with a DLC coating, really nice made. Uh, this is the parts rated version. It's all CNC made, really nice. And we see here the firing button and safety combination. The handle is a two part aluminum that they screwed together. Uh, we see here that anti-slip part is basically machined out of the CNC made aluminum handle there it's about a millimeter higher so it steps out a bit and the rest they did mill down on the back side we have the pocket clip and the pocket clip can be taken off and put back on this position here uh, we have a lanyard hole that should work for uh, 550 paracord. Unfortunately, it's pretty sharp on the edges. They did not chamfer the lanyard hole there. But the uh, aluminum is relatively softer material, so it hopefully not gonna harm the paracord too much. All in all, it's a pretty big knife. It lays good in the handle. In, in the hand, the the handle is pretty on the bigger size. I have big hands. What is absolute unique is the firing mechanism. That's why I got it. It is uh, now a couple of years on the market and unfortunately the prices were always too high and this one was on sale and uh, that's why I got it. Uh, we have a combination of uh, ergonomic safety and firing mechanism. So what you do is push the part forward here and then you push it in and that's gonna release the action as you let it go it will automatically go backward it's spring loaded so again we need to push it forward and then inward to release it uh, that is absolute easy and fast done if we look with other systems like we have here with the Gerber, uh, usually the safety is in a in a position like that. You have first you have two parts to slide, and usually the part that is the safety needs to be pushed backwards, and then you need to go forward and fire it. Uh, that is not only with Gerber that way. That is also with uh, with Benchmade. If we uh, see this AFO 
the newer variant variation of the AFO uh, if it's on safe you first need to grip all the way over press that back and then you can fire it so all this we don't have with the X18 X-ray design with that special sliding press button so that's absolute nice what you do is basically you press a little bit and you slide forward and then as you are at the end point it will open automatically and then you simply let it go that's all what it is you press it forward and it opens and as that part here slides back it's already on safe again it won't it cannot unlock in this position you need to go forward again press it in and then you can unlock it so really nice made uh, one of the best switch blades in my opinion I collect switch blades and and uh, such knives for a long time and uh, that is sure one of the most ergonomically most fast variants especially if you are a right hand user for left hand of course you have a, a problem there is a no firing switch it's just for right hand now my ear call has a bit of trouble the, the company owner did pass away a while ago and uh, I'm not sure exactly how the 18 X-ray is gonna gonna survive if that model is still made and what uh, Darrell Ralph do with it I know he makes uh, the custom version the custom knife version of this knife but that is out of the price range of most of us it's also not as a as a user like this one uh, that one here was about $85 plus actually with free uh, shipping so that was quite a deal uh, that was as best as I remember usually about $170, $180 suggested retail here in USA and uh, of course I have to say in Georgia switch plates are legal no problem at all check the laws in your area maybe there are some laws against it uh, this is a bigger one, pretty long blade, and uh, that may be banned or or uh, prohibited in your area. So that much about the uh, Donald Ralph design, the Mayerco 18 X-ray.